The Canadian government, they're always interfering in what anybody seems to be doing, but in particular, they're interfering now yet again with the media, with the free press, and the free press ain't free anyway, because the government basically controls it. The press in Canada and many other countries as well, but Canada, that's today's topic or example, I guess, is basically the press is an extension of the liberal government. It's not very nice. Now that government in Canada says, hey, we got to extend the public purse, the salaries of privately employed journalists. Who's a journalist? I mean, I'm a journalist, apparently. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is what the government says, a free press. Again, they use that word free. I wish they wouldn't because it ain't free anymore. A free press means that anyone legally is allowed to describe their work as a journalist, right? <laughs> okay, I'm a journalist, send me a check. That's what's happening right now. I mean, the support that they give people in this kind of business, in the media business, it's a welfare business. If I used a green screen, which is a screen behind and then you do all the images and so on, I would be entitled to fill out all the forms. I would be entitled to $3,800, a tax credit per show. I would never do that. That's me. I think I'm the only one in Canada who doesn't accept that kind of stuff. I've never had a handout. I never will. I'll never fill out their stupid little forms. But that's what they're doing. Why is the country in trouble financially? Hey, I know. Libs. They're all good at doing bad. And, and that's bad. Corporate welfare is bad. I mean, the free market is a great thing. Let it alone. Let it be free. Just saying. Okay. The ob. Auburn, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, the university, this is in England, they've, uh, oh, I'm really wrong, stick with me, I'll find it, it's actually the United States of America, this is really bizarre, they have said, hey guys, people are coming in here, bad people, they bring guns and they shoot students, this has been going on quite a bit as we all know, so we're going to fix that, we're going to have hockey pucks, okay, the teacher used to be a hockey coach, right? I think a puck hit him in the head, maybe, because now he's saying we're going to take hockey pucks, we're going to put our union logo on them, because the union, of course, had to come into play with this, and they approved it. Not only did they approve it and endorse it, they said they really, really like it, and, and now they're making these hockey pucks. I guess if you're the bad guy and you're a shooter, you get to see this logo coming at you, advertising maybe. Who would know? In any event, they want to throw pucks at active shooters on campus. This will make you, allow you to survive an active shooter situation. Each puck costs 94 cents to make, and that includes the union's logo, and they're being distributed free of charge to all of the students. 800 faculty members now have received a whole bunch of pucks, and an additional 1,000 students so far, and they're going to get that up to 1,700 here, I guess, by the end of next week. A puck is an adequate defense. You need something to defend yourself rather than just freezing in place. And they have training sessions and so on. You can't make this stuff up, right? A guy's coming in with a semi-automatic weapon or even a handgun of any kind, a BB gun even. I mean, good bloody grief. And these guys are going to stand there with pucks. What, you walk around carrying hockey pucks? I don't think so. Where do you put them? A guy comes in, brrr, and you're going to, oh, hold it. Stop shooting so I can find the puck and throw it and hit you in the head. That may be one of the dumbest things that I've ever heard. I mean, these socialists, I mean, they're the demolition derby. I mean, they just are a clueless bunch of people. Here's a guy in Alberta, Canada. His name is Ricardo Mirandera or something. He's a tourism minister for the provincial government. And he says, I got issues here. He says, I'm gay, <laughs> I'm Hispanic, I'm half Jewish, and, and of course he is a communist, he's way over there on the left, and he said, there's a bullseye on me and people treat me badly. He's missed the part about being totally unqualified for his job. He got his job because he's gay, because he's Jewish, because he's Hispanic, he's an immigrant and so on. That's the only reason why he has a position. And he's trying to tell us that it's about all these other things. It isn't. It's about what you're good at. And he ain't good at being in that job. <clears throat> I got more of it. I'm going to save it until the morals. Y'all come back tomorrow. We'll have more for you from the right. But let me just say, in ending, thank you very, very much for watching and commenting. So many of you do, and some of it is bad comments, and that's you liberal kind of guys. Go away. Hey, but all you other guys that give us even constructive stuff, I appreciate it a lot. Happy day.